All right, well, it's officially wrap up time now. Um, so we just want to talk about just a couple things. Um, so we noticed that some people are having issues with the Cool Stuff Store link. So Matthew, do you want to talk about that a little bit? I know you've been chatting with folks. Oh, uh, the Cool Stuff Store link um, seems to not show items to people in not in the U.S., although some people are saying it works. Um, you do have to create an account and log in. We know um, we're trying to get that changed, but that's the current design for the site, um, which is out of our hands. Uh, once you're logged in, it won't take you right to the Fedora store. You have to look for the Fedora stuff in the collection. Um, if you're still not seeing that, um, yeah, we're, we're going to work with people to see if we can figure out what's going on. It's possible they only made them available in certain geos, but we don't know what the deal is. Yeah, that's going to be for me to follow up. But Matthew did put a poll. Um, so you just record your experience. It's in the yeah. um, general event poll section. And um, these polls, by the way, are not actually anonymous. Um, it's not super clear, but your name is attached to them. So um, uh, we can, if you've also registered with the location, we can actually figure out what countries you are in from your votes. Um, so uh, if you are uh, surprised that these are not anonymous, I'm sorry. We probably did not ask any super actual important questions here. Uh, but that, we don't that have is choice the case. over that one either yeah. and yeah. because this is a commercial product a lot of people want that information yeah we we, we promise not to reveal your secrets though honestly um <laughs> yes that you think fedora or the half or the glass is half empty we won't yeah who is that, that pessimist let's find them and um i don't know cheer them up somehow i guess uh oh. So anyway, that's I one see, thing that's going on. Oh, go ahead, Matthew. I see that um, no one voted that Aoife will swear zero times during, or one or two times during the um, release party. Uh, yeah, uh, she, she's she definitely renowned swore now. More than, I think she definitely overtook 42. So I don't know if we round up or down to 42 or 9,000. Um, the one poll thing I did want to actually mention specifically is um, we had... Uh, about 40% people say that they're not super involved in Fedora, but would uh, are not sure where to start. Uh, the place to start really is the join SIG. And specifically, I think the easiest way is to drop into the Matrix chat room or the Telegram channel or the Discord for Fedora join. There are people hanging out there that can help kind of steer you towards something that you might be interested in. Um, the second part there, um, I, I, I know where to start, but it's intimidating. Yeah, I feel that um, it is. It can be pretty big, I guess. Um, the join sig people are very friendly. Um, if you want, though, um, if you feel more like just sending me a personal message or something, go for it. Or you know, Marie or Ben or you know, any, any familiar face here really. Um, uh, if you'd prefer like a hands-on, one-on-one uh, -on -one thing, it doesn't mean we necessarily will um, be able to help you directly, but we can take you to the right place to get get started and get you um, get you spun up on something that you're interested in um, and then I know but I just don't have time yeah I know I think I voted for that one uh. cool so I think there was a couple more things I wanted to mention which was make sure to claim your attendee badge um, there was a little bit of confusion around the Fedora Museum. We were doing some map updates in the past couple weeks, actually. And um, the link is a little funny, but it should be updated in all the right places right now. So hopefully that's just smooth sailing tomorrow. Um, and what else? Uh, tomorrow's social. I definitely want to call that one out. We are playing Among Us. And I think I have some... I'm just going to drop that here. Some information on getting it. Oh, right. Information on getting set up for the Among Us session. So that was a lot of fun. We did it at Nest 2021. So definitely drop by and, you know, digitally sneak up on people and maybe murder a little bit. <laughs> um. Ben, you want to talk about those those things real quick? The more you know, serious the surveys and things. 
Yep. So we do have uh, the Fedora CoreOS uh, communication survey. Uh, links are in the um, link that I just dropped in the chat because uh, links for links. Um, there's also a Fedora Linux 35 release retrospective. Um, and just as a reminder, we're about a month and a half away from the first change proposal deadlines for Fedora Linux 36. So, you know, start be, think, be thinking about that. And of course, election nominations are open through Wednesday of next week. That's November 17th. If you want to be uh, you know, a candidate for council or FESCO or Mindshare, um, this is your opportunity to, to raise your hand and get on the ballot. I'm going to add my, an addendum there, which is the Mindshare committee has historically had less votes than FESCO or council elections. So when you're on that page and you see all the three elections, make sure to go down and vote for the Mindshare one as well. Um, we appreciate that engagement. We know not everyone's going to be inspired to run for that committee, but um, yeah, in, vote in our election. We do a lot of stuff for the Fedora community and it's exciting stuff. Um, and also, if you want to learn more, there's a community blog post and there's a nest video. We welcome more people to, to sign up um, to run. And maybe it's not you that's the right fit, but maybe you know someone who's the right fit. And we're like always welcome to folks who have different perspectives. So if you're like even just a six months to 12, uh, six to 12 months into Fedora, you could potentially fit like having a new perspective is great. Having someone who's over on the coding side of Fedora mainly would also be great. Like just saying it's open to a lot of people. We do some really cool work there. And there's uh, a lot of cool people there already. So you get to hang out with us. So there's that. Um, and then there's not a whole lot more I think we had officially to say, but I just was thinking about that objective revamp update that we did. And something that we've been talking about in the council and a couple other places is we need more objectives. And I saw in one of the chats, I forget which session it was in, was like doing like some kind of packaging uh, workflow objective or something. I'm not sure if I read that correctly, but we're open to new objectives and we want to help you know, bring people's visions to life with support and input and all those types of things. So if you have an idea of how you think Fedora could move forward, or you have a project that you think with some support could really become a huge success, we would love to, to help you out with that. So I just wanted to highlight that objective thing here um, because we're kind of always looking for more ideas. Yeah, and these are kind of things that you know, take 12 to 18 months maybe to accomplish, have a, ideally have a bounded goal at the end. Um, and uh, during that time, we can try and focus project resources on that. We don't necessarily, we don't have people to assign to it, but we can bring attention to it. And, you know, uh, we talked earlier about how work goes to CPE. Um, if you've got a project that you need done as part of your initiative, like we can help prioritize that and taking that to CPE and saying, here, this is a Fedora objective. Uh, makes that make puts puts weight behind it. Uh -huh. Absolutely. All right. Well, I don't have anything else for today. How about Matthew? I've got to go, I've got to run through my talk for tomorrow. I added some things, so I need to make sure I can keep the timing tight. Still, it's the uh, thirty-five releases of Fedora in thirty minutes, so it'll be fun. <gasps> And also, Matthew's talking about Element for Fedora. We have I am. some great. That one I don't have a presentation for. That's going to be a um, a, a wing chat. It? A chat. It's going to be a wing it. But I can um, I, I can do that too. You could demo demo things. Which yeah, would be useful. I have to make sure I hide all my private messages. I'll just or <laughs> something. Set up a dummy account. I don't know. We'll see. Uh. Yep, but that's exciting. Element. When did Element come out? It's been like two months now. Yeah, we're kind of doing a soft launch. There's some things that uh, need to be done. And actually, I'll talk about that tomorrow because that's part of the point of that session. So yes, don't give it all away. Right. All right. Come tomorrow. Let's, let's talk about it.
Ben, you got anything? I said all I need to say. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a great Friday night, middle of the night, wherever you are. And we will see you tomorrow.